The control folder holds all your auxiliary output function folders. The general functions folder, when clicked, opens up all the general functions of the Wolf V500. Thermofan folder. We have an activation on or off. The active above engine temp. On what temperature do you want the Wolf V500 to turn your thermofan on? The hysteresis is the number that when the Wolf is coming down in engine temp will come down by past the switch on activation point. In this case, we've got switching on at 76 degrees, hysteresis of two. When the Wolf is counting down on its engine temp, will come down by two. So at 74 degrees, it will turn the thermofans off. The fuel pump folder, activation on, or off. Initiate activation seconds. This is how long do you want the fuel pump to prime before it stops. You turn the key on, it will prime. In this case, it will prime for two seconds and then switch off. Your turbo timer folder. We have activation off or on. The duration, the turbo timer run duration. This is how long do you want the turbo timer to actually run for in seconds. Activation above engine temp. Once again, if you want it to only activate when the engine's warm, you set in the desired engine temp. Active above time running. This will mean that once it has hit the engine temp desired and it has been running for X amount of seconds, then the turbo timer can be activated. And the rev limit. Now this is what RPM you want the motor to be able to be revved at when the turbo timer is activated. The idle lock folder. This is a device that if you have a car that has low manifold vacuum creating hunting or the live cursor to bounce around the screen at idle you can give it the desired amount of fuel and ignition timing at a desired point you got your activation on or off active below an rpm so if it's at idle and the vehicle idles at a thousand rpm Active below 1100, inactive above that, that RPM. Active below a throttle position setting. And so it will only activate below that RPM, desired RPM, and below that desired throttle position. The inactive above throttle position. Then you give it the desired amount of fuel and the desired amount of ignition timing. This will generally stabilize any erratic manifold vacuum. We have activation on or off. We have the rev limit that you want it to be activated at. The rev limit mode. You can have hard cut fuel, hard cut ignition, hard cut for both, or a soft cut ignition. soft cut rev limit. This will actually, in your desired effect, on how you want to cut it, whether you want to cut four in every eight pulses, or six in every eight pulses, whatever desired effect you have. Soft rev limit hard cut RPM. Taco red line and Taco yellow line are for the indicator points on your tachometer on the PC software. <laughs>